Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The sales invoicing window lets you create customer invoices for items shipped or services provided. Remember that invoices do impact the amount in accounts receivable. To open the sales invoicing window, select Tasks, Sales Invoicing from the menu bar. To create a new invoice, click the New button in this window's toolbar if needed. Then select the customer for whom you are creating the invoice from the Customer ID drop-down. Enter the invoice's creation date into the Invoice Date field and its due date into the Due Date field. If printing the invoice, leave the Invoice Number field blank as it is assigned when printed. If not printing it, enter the Invoice Number into the Invoice Number field. You can also view or edit the Customer PO, Ship Via, Ship Date, Sales Rep, and the customer's terms. The invoice looks like the other sales forms, but there are two tabs here which do not appear in any other window. The Apply to Sales Order or Proposal tab and the Apply to Sales tab. The Apply to Sales tab lets you enter items or services sold to customers without using the Sales Order or Proposals window. The Apply to Sales tab lets you enter the items you are selling, their quantities, and amounts. Alternatively, the Apply to Sales Order or Proposal tab lets you invoice for and or ship selected items from a sales order or proposal to the customer. This tab comes forward over the Apply to Sales tab if the selected customer has an outstanding sales order or an accepted proposal. Remember, you must have accepted a customer's proposal and then saved it before it can appear on this tab. Use the drop-down on this tab to select from which sales order or proposal to ship items. Those items then appear on this tab. If you selected a sales order, you must enter the number of each of the listed items you are invoicing and shipping. If you selected an accepted proposal, then the Select Percentage to Bill dialog box appears. Here you can choose either what percentage of the proposal to invoice or for which items in the proposal to invoice. This is used for partial or progress billing for projects. You can select the first option button in this dialog box to invoice for the remaining amount in the proposal. You can select the second option button to invoice for a selected percentage of all the items in the proposal. You can then enter the percentage in the adjacent Percent to Bill field. You can select the third option button to manually specify the quantities and or amounts for each line item in the line items area of this tab. After selecting your choice, click the OK button to continue. If you selected the third option button, then enter the quantity or the billing percent to invoice for each line item on this tab. On either tab, you can enter the serial number of items you are selling if selling either serialized stock or serialized assembly items. To do this, select the line for the first serialized item in the line items area of the form. Ensure all the serialized items have the correct quantities to sell listed in the quantity column. Then click the serial number button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open the serial number selection dialog box. Then click the serial numbers of the items to sell. You can use the Find feature at the top of the dialog box if needed. After selecting the correct quantity of serial numbers, double check the quantity selected at the bottom of the dialog box. Then click the OK button to return to the sales invoicing form or click the OK slash Next button to save the selected serial numbers and move to the next serialized item to sell within the form. This prevents you from having to close and reopen this window multiple times if selling several serialized items in a single invoice. At the bottom of the sales invoicing window, check the tax code of the customer to ensure it is correct and change it if it isn't. You can then enter any freight amount if needed. Remember the amounts you input into this box are associated with the expense account you set for freight in the item defaults window. You can also use freight as an individual line item in the line items area of the invoice if having only one freight account is inadequate for your business needs. The customer account information in the lower left corner shows their receivable balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. Clicking the balance shows a report on the customer. To save the invoice when finished, 
click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the Sales Invoicing window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.